Hi guys, and welcome to the next video, two-step equations. So basically that means you're going to do what we did last, uh, the other day, except we're just going to be two steps instead of one. Okay, here's your first example. Now you notice it's different. The ones that we did with one step did not have this right here, would have just been 2y equals 4. But we've added this second number, this constant, okay? So same rules apply. You still want to get your variable by itself, but in order to do that, you need to get rid of something first. And what you need to get rid of is this positive 6. So you still use the same rules. You're going to use your inverse operations. So to get rid of the positive 6, you're going to subtract 6. And because you have your equal sign here, remember, if you do something on this side, you have to do it on that side. Okay? My 2y, remember talking about like terms, 2y can't combine with anything. So we're just going to carry this down. Positive 6 minus 6 gives us 0. And now we've got 4 minus 6, which we know is negative 2. So if you notice, we've gone from two steps. I did my one step here, and now I'm at a simple equation like we did before, just a simple one step equation. So now we've got 2 multiplied by y equals negative 2. And we're going to use inverse operations. The inverse of multiplication is division. So we or sorry, divide this side by 2. We have to divide that side by 2. Okay? Our 2's cancel each other out to become 1. So we're left with just y. And negative 2 divided by 2 gives us, remember our integer rules, a negative by a positive gives us a negative, And our answer is negative 1. So then what you'd want to do is take this number and plug it back in over here to see if it works. So if we plug in a negative 1 for the y, we would get 2 times negative 1 plus 6 equals 4. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 6 equals 4. And we know that negative 2 plus 6 is 4. So that means that that one works and it is the solution to our problem. Okay. Let's go ahead and try another one. Okay, looks exactly the same as the other one. The only difference is, sorry, the only difference is that it's got a negative sign in there. It's not going to change anything that we do. We're still trying to isolate the variable, right? Remember, this is connected to the variable, so we don't want to do anything to that yet. We need to get rid of our constant, which is a positive 3. So to do that, you're going to subtract 3, right? Inverse operations. Do it on both sides. Okay, our negative 2x can't combine with anything, so we just bring that down. Plus 3 minus 3 gives us 0. Bring down our equal sign. And then we have 9 minus 3, which is 6. Now we've gone from a 2-step to a 1-step. Right? This is multiplication, negative 2 times x. Inverse operation is division, so you divide by negative 2. Divide this side by negative 2. Okay, remember, you have to divide it by the same number. You have to include that sign, because if you don't, then you're going to end up with a negative variable. You have to cancel this out to equal a positive 1. So these cancel out, and you're left with x. And then 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. Okay? So then we take it with this, and we would just plug it in to see if it works. So now we have negative 2 times negative 3 plus 3 equals 9. Negative 2 times negative 3 gives us a positive 6 plus 3 equals 9. And 6 plus 3 is 9. So we know that that one works. Okay? Okay, now we're going to move on to one that's a little bit different. Not necessarily more difficult, but just looks different. Okay? We still have a two-step equation. Okay? It looks the same. It still has a variable attached to a number, the coefficient, right? Um, but we still need to get this variable by itself. So in order to do that, we're going to do the same thing. We still have to get rid of this negative 8. Okay? To get rid of the negative 8, remember the inverse operation is adding. So we're going to do plus 8. If we add 8 to this side, we have to add 8 to that side. Okay? The a over 4 stays by itself. It doesn't change yet because it can't combine with anything. Negative 8 plus 8 is 0. And we bring down our equal sign. And 8 plus 8 is 16. Okay, So now we're left with a one-step equation that is actually an equation by division. right? Because we have a divided by 4. So remember, the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So since we're dividing by 4, 
we're going to multiply by 4, right? Remember our goal is to cancel out those 4s to leave A by itself. If I multiply this side by 4, I have to multiply that, by, that side by 4 as well. So my 4s cancel out to become 1. My A just carries down. And then 16 times 4 is 64, okay? Then again, very important, once you get an answer, you always need to plug it back in and check it because if you got it wrong, obviously it's not going to work out. So let's plug in 64. So we have 64 divided by 4 minus 8 equals 8. Okay, so 64 divided by 4 is 16 minus 8 equals 8. And we know that 16 minus 8 is 8. So that works, it means we got the right answer. Okay? We'll move on to our last example. Okay, if you want to, go ahead and pause the video right now and see if you can work it out on your own. Um, if not, I'm going to go ahead and work it out. And if you need another, if you need another guided example. Okay, same problem. Remember, you'll start to notice that all of these equations start to look the same. It's the same process. The only thing that changes is whether or not numbers are negative or positive or what kind of numbers that they are. So same thing, we need to get this m, this variable, isolated by itself. So that means anything that's not attached to the variable, we need to get rid of, okay? So positive 4, inverse operation, is negative 4. So if we have a negative 4 on this side, we have to keep it balanced and have a negative 4 on that side. So 10 minus 4 gives us 6. The m divided by negative 2 stays the same because it can't combine with anything. And plus 4 minus 4 gives us 0. Okay? So now we're back here to our one-step equation by division. So m divided by negative 2 gives us 6. We need to get rid of this negative 2. So the inverse, sorry, fly. The inverse operation of division is multiplication. So remember, we're going to multiply by negative 2, not just 2. So we have negative 2 over 1. If we multiply this side by negative 2, we have to multiply that side by negative 2. Okay, negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And these negative 2's cancel out to give us 1, and we're left just with m. Okay, so that means that m is equal to negative 12. So let's go ahead and we're going to plug it back in to make sure that it works. Okay, so that means we have 10 equals negative 12 divided by negative 2 plus 4. All I did was plug in negative 12 for m. So now I have 10 equals negative 12 divided by negative 2 is 6 plus 4. And we know that 6 plus 4 oops, is equal to 10. So that means that that answer works. Okay? All right, we have one last question for you. And this one we're not going to do on camera. So what you're going to need to do is below the video, scroll down when you're done, look at the Google form, and you're going to solve this, and you're going to put your answer, fill in all the, the right places, and then you're going to answer this equation. So your answer should be in the form x equals whatever the answer happens to be. If it's a positive number, if it's a negative number, if it's a fraction, okay? So solve this equation just like we did on the video, and submit it on your Google form so we know that you watched it and that you understand. If there's any other problems that you have, please go back, look at the video, and come into class tomorrow with any questions that you may have. All right, have a good night, guys.